I am Anil Kumar. Here is a multiple choice question on trigonometric ratios and we will also understand what are equivalent trigonometric ratios with the help of this particular multiple choice question. Given sine of 300, determine which of the following is an equivalent expression. Sine 200, sine 120, sine 240 or sine 60. You can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion. Now how to answer such questions? We should see what is the related acute angle to figure out what is the equivalent ratio, right? So when we say sine of 300, sine of 300 means what? Sine of 300 means that the principal angle is 300, so you are in quadrant 4. That is what it is, right? So that is 300 degrees. So when you have principal angle theta as 300, what is the acute angle? Let's say beta is how much? It is 360 minus 300. Is that okay? So which is 60 degrees. That is the first thing which we understand from here. The second thing which you get is you have to apply the cost rule. So cosine is positive here. All are positive in quadrant 1, sine in quadrant 2, and tan in quadrant 3. Now, since we are talking about sine, we know this is equal to a negative value since we are in quadrant 4, right? That is one thing we know. So, it is negative value of sine of acute angle is 60. That is, that is what it is. Acute angle is 60, right? So, if it was here, it would have been negative but sine 60 is not the right option this is positive value we are looking for negative value okay but that doesn't work for us the sine is also negative here in quadrant 3 right now if I consider the acute angle in quadrant 3 of 60 degrees let us say this of 60 degrees then also we could get the right answer now how much is this angle so in this case, the principal angle is 180 plus 60. Right? So when you add this up, you get 240 degrees. So do we have that option? Yes, we do. So that works because sine of 240 will be in quadrant 3. And in quadrant 3 also, sine is negative. So it is also equals to sine of 240 degrees. Do you understand? So that is indeed the correct option. That's one way of looking into it. The other way is also, you could have seen that since we are in quadrant 4, we are looking for a negative answer. Now 200 is in quadrant 3, could be a possible answer. 120 is in quadrant 2, it is not an answer. 60 is also not an answer. So we have choice between these two, right? Now acute angle 60 degrees help us to figure out which one is the right answer so that is the kind of approach you should be taking to answer such questions on equivalent trigonometric expressions i hope that helps thank you and all the best